Okay, so this is my insanely expensive um, gauge pod, which I bought off eBay. And it cost me £24 plus postage. So I think, hang on, let's have a look. I think it was probably about five or so. This thing probably cost about 30 quid just for this piece of sh vacuum formed plastic. That was £2.80 postage. So, anyway, um, I've got it connected to the pillar. One of the uh, pillars will cover things for my car. So, so this will be sitting along here, that, that alongside of the windscreen. But uh, at the moment I'm debating cutting this bottom half off. But this thing here fits quite nicely into the little section in between the dash and the pillar. But unfortunately, it doesn't have this little lip here. So I'm going to go and try it on like this for the moment and see how it goes. I've already had, using a combination of the uh, soldering, iron, soldering iron and, you guessed it, the knife, as <laughs> that thing gets used for everything around here, um, I managed I had to reshape around here because it didn't quite fit perfect. There was a couple of gaps, so and it was just a little bit too narrow. So after doing that, that screw is supposed to be there. It holds it on. And I also have to make a hole in the back yet. If this does work, I'm going to have to come back in, use a soldering iron. I'm going to melt a hole around here about uh, one inch wide. Just so I can get the wires through and the vacuum hose, which goes to one of the gauges I'm going to have. I was going to have two, uh, a three uh, three gauges in this, but that, that was actually about £30 plus about three quid postage. So I wasn't going to pay 30 odd quid for a piece of vacuum form plastic. It's stupid. So anyway, we can go and stick it on now. This bit here, there is a gap there, but you can't really see that once it's all on. And if it is too much of a problem, I'll uh, glue it on or something along those lines. To be honest, the only reason it, it has got a gap there, I mean, here it's above the plastic. The only reason it has got a gap there is because of that. If I was to take away some of the plastic around there, you can see where it's step. there's a step. If I move that step further back and further along, that they'll then be allowed to move closer, or actually even just pulling it closer like that seems to do it. See? Just pushing it closer up. So that's another option. Could just you can't actually see this bit here. It's un it's this bit here sits under the dash. So I could even drill a hole in there, pull it back, and then put the screw in, and then that'll hold it. So first things first, let's go stick in the car and see how it fits. Okay, so this is where it's gonna be mounted. Now to do is kind of worm it in. That's alright. Okay, so it's pulling away from here at the moment. That's because none of the clips are on. I wonder if I can Jimmy Spiegel this around a little bit to make it fit a bit better. Okay, so now I need, I need to make the hole here. Um, I've repositioned this three times as you can see by the amount of holes. Just because I wanted to go and get it in the best possible place so that it doesn't leave any gaps. And so the only place I think there's going to be a gap is there's going to be a very small line all the way down here. But it's uniform all the way down which is the best thing so it's just going to be something like a 1mm or 2mm gap in between the this piece of plastic and the uh, water seal as well the door seal so that'd be good so to make a hole for the wires and pipe and that lot that'd be good to go and put it in so wait for the soldering iron to heat back up so there we go one hole a little bit close to be honest should have done it a little bit higher up but it should clear that just fine if not I'll elongate it up this way so it's probably a very too low here it is Oh, well, that's not bad. Hey, it's a nice hole. It's just in the wrong place. I don't know how close this gets pushed to it. I mean, there could be a huge gap. There could be pretty much no gap. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so hmm. Oh, well. I'll just quickly nip a little bit off here. Then it'll be alright. Hey, and there we have it. Have an air and fuel mixture gauge along with a vacuum gauge. I can change them pretty much any time I like. All I have to do is pull them out and rig up different wires and things. Got all the wires out running down there. 
coming out here. Big black one is a hose, which is the vacuum. Red is ignition on. Blue is negative. Brown is positive light, uh, constant live from the battery. The uh, earth, which is actually an earth wire from a what's it? But this one is big long one, which goes to the um, Lambda sensor for the air and fuel gauge. I had to repair one of them too. I had to repair the vacuum gauge because the LED, which is for the needle, that lights the needle up, that had <laughs> this one working. Because it's the longest, longest one ever. Here, that's just a join, just to hold it all together. This one is where the red stops. That one is where the uh, blue and brown stop. Then that one there is where the hose stops. So every, every one, every, where, every where one, where, every, where one ends, I put some tape, and then right on the very end, because it's the last one. So basically, if I pull this, you see what I mean. You just get one big long wire. Then on the end of some welding wire, which I fed from the top down, and did it poked out the bottom. Then you just pull it all through. A little bit jiggly. It's kind of you don't just yank it all the way through. You have to guide it in at the top and just slowly yank it down bit by bit from the bottom. And it makes sure it all comes down together and none of your electrical tape comes off, which means you have wires come down and then there's some still stuck behind the dash. Which means you have to do it again. So just take your time, be gentle, and it'll do it, and it'll all come out just fine. Okay, so there they are. Got my vacuum hose actually going out to the engine, you can see it just there. Just hooked up temporarily just to show you it working. Now at the moment it's not wired in properly either, so I've just got that brown wire goes to this well grey wire goes to this switch which is an auxiliary I can connect just about anything up to it I want as long as it's 12 volt they start up this one, no, they're both kind of changing eventually oh, where's it gone? there we go the, this one's actually better quality than this one a lot better quality but hey let me close it quick alright, so we we'll start her up and, yeah. that's it resetting itself every time raining I don't want it to rain. Out of gear. Yep. 